when I'm signed in? If I visit slash sign in when I'm already signed in, what should it do? It should redirect to notes, right? And if I'm signed out, and I, well, here I am on slash notes, what should it do? Redirect me to sign in, right? So if you're on the sign in page, but you're already signed in, it should take you to notes. If you're on notes, but you're not signed in, it should take you to the sign in page. We should never see a blank version of this unless you just don't have any notes yet. So let's make that happen. We'll do something very much like what we did before where we had that uh, ternary operator in our render function. So let's deal with this one first. Uh, not that one. I'm sorry. In app.js. Uh, app so if you visit slash notes, right now we always render main. But we only want to do that if you're signed in. So let's put a, a ternary back in there. How do we know if we're signed in or not? This dot signed in, right? That returns true or false. So if instead of just rendering main, what if inside our render function, we put this dot signed in? And then after the question mark, what happens if you are signed in, right? Yeah, let's do it this way. If you are signed in, then yeah, render main. The else goes after the colon, right? So if you aren't signed in, then what? Sign in, right? So we could do that. I wanted to indent this another level. So what happened is it rendered the sign-in page instead of the notes page, but it kept my URL as slash notes. We said we wanted to actually redirect, right? Well, guess what component is available in React Router? Correct. Redirect. And it looks a lot like a link or nav link. You just tell it where to redirect to. So it's our route for the path slash notes. If we are signed in, do this. Otherwise, redirect to slash sign in. That'll make it re-render and run through the switch again, and this time it'll match the other route. And there it is. I'm on sign-in now. So again, I try to go to notes. Takes me right back to sign-in. If I sign in then, and visit slash notes. Now it lets me in. So now we want the other way around. And by the way, doing that made the logout bu button start working again. Because as soon as I was no longer signed in, my state changed, it re-rendered, and it automatically redirected me. So now we just need to do the other way around. So our sign-in path. Component will no longer do. We're going to have to render with a ternary again. So 
So we'll render, give it a render function. We want to check whether we're signed in. This dot signed in. Question mark. If we're on the sign in page and we are signed in, what do we want to do? Go to notes, right? Redirect to slash notes. Else, what do we do? Show the signing component. No props necessary. Right? Does it work? I'm currently signed out. I'm on the sign in page. I sign in with GitHub. And I redirect to notes because I was still on signing component. But now, when it re rendered, it said, Are we signed in? Yes, we are. So redirect to notes. So now if I manually go to slash sign in, it's going to redirect me to notes. If I am signed out and I try to go to slash notes, it's going to redirect me to sign in. So this makes that whole flow work again. I sign in, it takes me to notes. I sign out, it takes me to sign in. And I can never get to the wrong one anymore. Our routes are going to stop us from seeing a page that we shouldn't see. Go us. Um, no, because I mean, most our data is still protected behind um, our Firebase. Yeah. If you haven't actually Firebase authed, you can't get anything. Yeah. Even if you fake having a UID. Because that's, in fact, what does happen. We, if we sta store the UID in local storage, um, you know, it'll try to set it on state, but it'll immediately um, log us out anyway as soon as Firebase tries to do anything. Redirect based on authentication status.